next one. Whoa, yeah. Let's step. Sacrifice, responsibility. These are the qualities of true love. You can tell me that you love me, and then your body language saying something else. Yes, I love you, girl. And I'll do anything to keep you by my side. I'll put my life on the line for you, just to prove to you that what I feel is love. For What is your problem? I said open the gates. O -o open which I gate? I said open the damn gates. What is wrong with you? Get him damn. Get him damn. Do you know who you are talking to? Yes. Jezebel, Madam Witchy Witchy, Delilah. I know you. Ha! If not for one thing, I would have given you a dirty slap this hot afternoon. Hmm. As you don't talk, you don't slap me. Open the gate. Which gate? Which gate? Ha! You need a fear face at all. You need a, you need a look face. I didn't see your face now. Now you're not be, now your now your first time. I know this face. I am working on that heavy serious instruction. By who? By my yoga, my employer, my destiny helper, my everything. That same ogre is my husband to be. So open this gate. <laughs> The husband to be! Husband! Uh -huh. Oga is here. Oga don't come back. Baby, you're welcome. Oh, so oh, what oh. are you doing standing there like a myopic idiot? He oh, refused because... to open the gate for me. Can you imagine? Are you, what are you doing here? I've warned you to stay away from me and everything around me. Or do you want to know what I'll do to you? You want to try me, right? No. God. You, you once told me that there is always a second chance for everyone. And that second chance is what I'm asking. Do you want to die? Do you want to die? Do you want to die? Ah! Do you want to know what I've done to you? Ah! Stay away from me! Stay away from me! That's how I'll you! Before I kill you! Out! Get out! Get out! Ofo? Oga. Next time. If I sit down, baby. Ow! 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 Kill you! What is that? What is that? Open that gate! Honestly, honestly, I've been thinking. Please don't get me wrong. No, no, not at all. Okay. Why, why not you and your wife, you know, try this test in some other hospital? You know, a hospital that is different from the usual hospital you go to. I mean, I believe we might have a different results. Something different from the old Alado hospital we go to. Sam, I am very healthy. Very healthy and strong. I do not have any problems. If I do have any problem, honestly, I will know. I understand. I'm not, I'm not doubting you. Please. All I'm trying to say is that let us look for ways to pull this through. Besides, if you're not the problem, Juliet might just be the problem. Or do you, 
Do you like the way Mama is going about this whole thing? I don't like it. Kinsley is responsible for this. I mean, he's the one giving her the right to treat me this way. I don't see any reason my mother-in-law would come to my own house just to suffocate me. Is this how our daughters have been treated by their husbands? Babe, I suggest you go to hospital with your husband to run some tests. But I have. We have, over time, like three eyes. And there seems to be nothing medically wrong with the both of us. If that is the case, why is it hard for you to conceive? I don't know why my wife finds it difficult to conceive after doing everything humanly possible. Kings, you know you and I have come a long way. Sure. And your problem is like my problem now. Honestly, I, I feel your pains. But I don't know right now if I suggest something for you. If you do it. Come on, Sam. Go ahead and suggest. Give me the suggestion. Do you think I am happy seeing my wife going through the, the, the this heat she's taking from my mother? Do you think I'm happy? I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry. I wish I could do I could do more. But there's this there's this kind of ecologist I know. Yes. I mean he's very good at what he does. Very Good. Kings, please. I need you to see him. Please. I I just feel that you will get something different. If you can be a solution to my problem, then I'll give that a say. Thank you very much. I know you will find answers that you seek. Sam, you do not need to thank me. I should be the one thanking you here. Thank you so much. Anytime. Juliet, there is this powerful man of God I know. I've heard of his miracles and healing. Maybe we should go and see him. He might be of help. But I've been praying. I've been praying. I know. We might be equal in fellowship, but not in grace. Remember, Judah needed a higher anointing in Moses than Jacob. That is why he met him and his people were able to flourish in Israel. Let's go and meet him. Something might be different. Where is this man of God you speak highly of? I know his church. I can take you there if you want. My friend. Mirabel, is everything being said about colleagues true? And did he admit that he is responsible for your brother's predicament? Mother Dr. Is this what we're talking about? That's nothing. Colin is a nice person and he has proven it over and over again. So what's wrong? That, that's a lie, Mirabel. That's a lie. You have no idea the devil Collins is. Mom, back in Mexico, Collins is known and referred to as a black devil. What? Collins is one of the most dreadful drug dealers. And such a man can never marry my sister. What? You heard me. You know, you just keep using the word never like you're the one getting married to Collins. I am getting married to Collins and nobody will stop me, not even you. Oh, shut up. Did you just hear what he said? You want to marry a drug baron? Look, I am going to use that word again. Never! You will not marry him. You can't marry someone who has put your brother in a wheelchair. Are you out of your mind? Uh, listen to me, I love you. Violence has never been the best way of resolving issues. Let me ask, 
Is there no way we can resolve this matter without escalating it anymore? Huh? What do you ask, Father? What do you ask? I have tried so hard not to talk about your insensitivity to my plight. I slept here with my two legs. I returned back on a wheelchair. What have you done to the man that did this to me? What have you said? Nothing. As fair to have it, that man comes back to be the one seeking the hand of your daughter in marriage. And you are asking, is there no way we can resolve this matter? What matter do you want to resolve? I would help you. The only way to resolve the matter is you talk to your daughter to forget about Collins. Hmm. Enough. Violence. Excess violence. I am solidly behind you, son. I am solidly behind you. Mirabel, I want you to forget about Collins and get ready to marry Prince Henry. What? Stay away from him if you do not want to feel my wrath. And that is final. What, what's your wife saying? Nonsense. Stop to your wife. What's your wife saying? I would never stop. Nobody will stop me from getting married to Collins. Father, this is my life. Yeah, and yeah. I want, I want, whoever that I want, I'll get married to whoever that I want to marry. Nobody will stop me. Mirabel, you dare me. What would you do? What would you do, I ask you? What would you do? Mirabel, you ask what I would do. Yes. Yes. I will kill you oh. like nothing. Oh, really? Damn it! I will tell you! And you will not do anything! Enough, both of you! Enough! I... Not enough! To your rooms. Now! This meeting is over. Damn! Go back to your rooms! Damn! And I will help you. Now, you should not go. I said enough! 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 enough. My sister. What you're passing through is a sign that God has better plans for you. Because I know that our God, whatever he plans for you, he will make it come to pass. He's not a man that he should lie, neither a son of man that he should repent. Once he has said it, you surely do it. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you. Coming to your office today has done me a lot of good. And I say thank you for that. And thank you to my friend for bringing me here. Because honestly, my faith in God is renewed yet again. I believe that God will show me mercy. I know that my miracle will come no matter what. But you know, as a human being, sometimes I'm forced to think that my miracle is, is taking too long. I, like, I wish I can move the hand of God push him to answer me now so that my miracle I don't want it to be late because it feels like it's getting late no it will never be late for God has said it will surely come to pass at his own time he will do it for you <laughs> my sister remember all I said that God is too faithful to fail whatever plans he has for you he will do it thank you Jesus I believe, yeah. I believe, I believe, yes. I believe in God. Um, Pastor, let's not take too much of your time so that you can attend to other people waiting for you. God bless you so much. You are welcome, you are welcome. And thank you too for the gifts that you brought for us. Pastor, it's nothing. The church and the orphanage really needed it. <laughs> thank you. And you, Sister Anita, I pray that the countenance of God will continue to be upon you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless, bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you. I knew. God bless you. Where do you think you are going? To see Collins, I guess. Chuma, you know, you have no right to ask me that question. I did not put you on that wheelchair. So do not, do not, I repeat, do not unleash your frustration on me. Don't do it. Don't. Mirabel, you just insulted me. And I'll forgive you this once. Don't allow me to repeat myself. 
get back into the house. Hm. And now? Really? You know, not even you or her father will stop me from leaving this palace today. Nobody will stop me. Nobody. Mirabel. What is it? Get back into the house! What did you think of you? You want to shoot me? You want to shoot me? No, 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 let him shoot me! What is it? Did I put you on the wheelchair? Did I do that? No, let me say you. Stop me, let me say it. Stop me! Mirabel, I won't repeat myself. No, I will, I will go to where I want to go. And you will not stop me. Robin. Don't leave me! Don't do Save me! Don't do where are you going to? One does not give a shit because of his enemy. You heard her? She didn't put me here. I understand. I understand. Open the fucking gate! Open the gate! Open it! Ah! Take it easy, man. Ah. Take it easy. George. My man. I need guns. Hmm. With men who can wield it. Possibly professionals. <laughs> who can take Collins, the black devil? I mean, unless you want your sister, Princess Mira. To be caught in crossfire. I've given her a chance to leave. But if she's not ready, then she becomes a victim of war. Let's do this, man. No, I know. Calm down. Calm down. Now I'm a very straightforward person. I do business with you. We get it done. You know? Everybody goes home happily. Okay? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, okay. I'll get back to you, okay? Yeah, thank you. What do you think you're doing? Collins, what is this? Not again. You know, this is not good for you. Why, 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 why? So why? Why? Leave with you forever, stuck with you forever And I can't wait to slide a ring in your finger And make you my wife I thought I would never see you again And uh, do you want me to leave like leave and not come back? No, see, what happened between my brother and I was just a mistake, okay? I left the country to Texas And you know, life there was so hard to leave, was so tough. After many failed attempts, then Capello, an Italian man I used to know, introduced me into drug business. And the returns was very good. Until I met your brother and a friend. They robbed me of my consignments. And the matter becomes the matter of my life. All the goods. Please, please. I am not here to judge you with your past. That's not why I'm here. I know, but you need to know. You need to know, yes. 
I really need to tell you. You know, I traced them and caught them at Mexico. And I took it out on them and recovered my consignments. Then after I vowed never to do drugs again. And I left US and returned back to Nigeria to set up good things for myself, to start living a good life. Not because I am scared of anybody, your brother or anything. No, I am not scared. I just want to put up a good slate, a beautiful slate for myself. Hmm. Until I met you. And you made that slate beautiful. It started shining again. Colette, I do not care about your past, your future, and today is all that matters to me. I love you, Colin. Do you hear me? I love you. I don't care about you. I don't care about your past. I do not. I missed you. I missed you. Look at you. Look at you. Come on. Come here. How does it taste? Nice? I like it. This is right. watch me die in this manner and they did nothing about it please God let this not happen <laughs> ah, Yahweh your name is Yahweh you are the miracle walking God your name is Yahweh you are the destiny changing God. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh.
Faith. You're lost in thought. What are you thinking? This. I don't know how to say this because I do not want to sound desperate. Just say whatever you want to say. I mean, as it is now, I need all the advice I can get. You know, my father is a nice person. Okay. Unlike my mother and my brother. I, I want you to come, come and see my father to ask for my hand in marriage. Trust me, he will not say no to us. It's okay, it's okay. I, I think it's a good idea. I, I really love that idea. I am going to contact some of my kinsmen so we can choose a date for that. Uh, no, tomorrow is going to be the right date for it. So let's do it tomorrow. Thank you for your marriage. Oh, come on. Stop thanking me. I should be the one thanking you. Sweetheart. You don't know. I don't know how much I love you. I love you so much that I want to marry you every day. I love you more. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. mm. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we'll do it. Tomorrow, tomorrow. yes, we do it. Yeah. Tomorrow, right? Yeah. Listen, my elders, I have not come here to cause trouble. Eh? I've come to take my woman. She said she belongs to me, so get out of it. Over my dead body, that I marry a cursed man. Thank you for all your deceit and sugar-coated love. Welcome to my humble abode, Dr. Richard. But unfortunately, I don't see your medical tools on you. You have planned to leave me, okay? It's not true, it's not true. Can you leave me alone or what did I do to you with Why is it that you people cannot see the goodness in me? You are simply a graduated illiterate. It's the same boy who has done so much for this family in the past. Call each of you Thank God you just said in the past. Whatever is in the past remains in the past. A girl looked me in the eyes and called me cock. What you need to do is get a wife and be the king that you are meant to be. You all have no choice. But to bow at your feet. The battle of good guess, Richard, has got into this life. Okay, slow down. At this point, you need to slow down. How can you tell me to leave the love of my life? No, you don't go out. Hey, watch your mouth! Why you watch your mouth? You just wake up and tell me to leave a man that has done everything that I'm alive today because of this man. Now you are going to know what I'm talking about. Because if I don't find Ruth in the next 24 hours, I'm going to wipe out your entire family. This might lead to disaster in future. Please, I'll kill them one after the other and I'll kill you last. Tell your friend to advise his goons to release my wife. You took my woman from me and I want her back. I married her officially. I am going to kill you in your pride. I've always known that that wretched, cursed, gorilla, weapon suit. And I can forgive, but I will not forgive. Hey, hey! Richard, stop, stop. Richard, what are you doing? Sacrifice, responsibility, these are the qualities of true love. You can tell me that you love me, and then your body love is saying something else. Yes, I love you, girl. And I'll do anything to keep you by my side. I'll put my life on the line for you, just to prove to you that what I feel is love. Life on the life alone. It is so full. Life. 